Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Hope you're doing good. I just want to say a big thank you to all of you that send your condolences and their support to me. I thank you all for your comments and everything. May God Almighty be with you all. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. So in this video, we're going to be making a, a top. It's more like a butterfly top, like a circle top. So this is what we're going to be making. So this is the fabric I'm making use of. It's less than two yards. I'll turn it to the wrong side and then fold my fabric into two. So my fabric is folded into two. So I'm gonna fold it again. Now it's folded into four. You fold it like you're cutting a circle. It's a circle anyway. So from here I have a 22 inches here, I have 28 inches here, 28 inches here and 22 inches here. So for the wideness of the neck I will take 3 inches and for the depth I will take 3 inches as well. These 3 inches is for the, for the front part, I will take 1.5 inches for the back side. I will connect the lines. This is the one and a half inches, and this is the three inches for the front neckline. I'll go to this side and mark two inches on this side. That is the shoulder slope. I will connect it from here to meet these two inches. So this is the shoulder slope. I will slant this. Starting from here, we curve it to meet this edge here. So let me do it again. This is my shoulder slant. So I will start from here, where the shoulder slant ends. I will start from the edge here. Take it, curve it. It's just like a circle top. And curve it like so. So I will cut it out now. I will cut the back neckline. I will bring the front one out, then I will cut out the front neckline. Cutting out the shoulder side. So I'm bringing it out. So this is the front one, I will cut the neckline, and I will split this into two, so I'm going to be inserting zip here, the front part, they're supposed to add two inches for zip allowance, or one and a half inches for zip allowance, but it's a circle to fine. So you open it up, it should look something like this. I will use the facing to hem the neckline. Then I will add my zip before joining them together. This is the zip I'm using. So I will take a one inch on this side and one inch on this side and uh, add my zip here, the mid part here. That's the front panel. After that, we join them together. So guys, I finished attaching the zip to the front side. 
So I've also hemmed the neckline. I use it facing to turn the neckline. So I sew it and then turn it to the other side. So this is the front zip. So we're going to be joining the front and the back together. So I will lay the front one against the back one, right side facing each other. So I will go ahead and sew the shoulder here, half inch, and then sew this side, half inch. Then before I will turn it to the right side and then sew the front part. So I finished joining the shoulders together. So what I'm going to do next is to come down 10 inches from the shoulder. I will come down 10 inches from the shoulder. That is where my arms will go through. I'll mark the 10 inches here. Yeah? I will do the same thing on this side. 10 inches. So this is the midpoint. What I will do is to take the measurement. I will sew it right from the right side. I will take the waistline and then on this side I will take the hip line so this space can accommodate the hip. I will take a quarter of a waist measurement. Her waist measurement is 36 inches divided by 4 or is 9 inches. So right from this midpoint here I will mark 9 inches. I'll pin it here. Then on this side I will mark 9 inches as well. So this is the 10 inches. I came down 10 inches from the shoulder. And on this 10 inches line, I will mark 9 inches. That is the waistline. I'm pinning here. And yeah, I will just take it right from this 10 inches. Bring it a little bit wide at the bottom because of the hip. So I'll do it like so here. I'll do it a little bit wide. So this is the waistline to hip is 8 inches. This is my 8 inches and from waist to hip on this side is 8 inches. So here the hip measurement is 46 inches. Divided by 4 is 11 and half inches. So on this line, on this hip line I will mark 11 and half inches. So I will bring it here like so. So that the space will accommodate the hip. So I will do the same thing on this side. I'll mark 11 and half inches. So I'll take it from the hip and bring it down. So I will just go ahead and the sew here. So from the waist to the hip, hip to the damp part. So I'm pinning my, my top. So this is the right side. I'm sewing it right from this right side, just here. And here. So I finished sewing the top. I finished sewing the side. So this is the finished look of the top. I sewed half inch on this side and half inch on this side for zipper allowance. If you want to make yours, you can cut it separately and add one inch for zipper allowance to the front side. So my, I didn't add any zipper allowance to it. I cut everything together. So after cutting it, I found out that the back is a little bit um, bigger than the front one, so I have to trim it very well to make sure they are equal. I trim half inch on this side and trim half inch on this side to make sure they are equal. If you want to make yours, you can add one inch to the front side for zipper allowance or you can as well cut it this way. I've also hemmed the edges of the top. The whole edges, I use a zigzag stitch to hem it. You can use a quarter of an inch or half an inch to hem the whole edges around. So that's it for today. This is a very quick and an easy top. You can even make this in 20 or 15 or 20 minutes. So thank you so much guys for watching. If this is your first time here, you're highly welcome. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to join us on our Facebook group at Cynthia's Fashion House. I will see you guys in my next one. I love you guys. Bye.